can fold for 30 cents. So, yep, hello. <clears throat> Gotta get it patched up. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, it is. It is my favorite hoodie, you got me on that. It's red, and it's plain, and you can wear it to pretty much every shirt that I have, except for red t-shirts. That doesn't work with a red hoodie. <laughs> Love the fry look. Yeah, I got that. I got that quite a bit. Some people told me. So, where's Todd? Uh, gotta bet this. Gotta steal. Oh, barrel, 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 whatever. Can't have much. Um, King Eye. Two people. Pair sevens, probably no good. If he bets into the two of us, now definitely no good. We just check. That just got the bad news that somehow I can't post the streaming link. Or that it doesn't work. Oh yeah, it doesn't work. Ah, got it. I just put the, uh... Whoops. This is also one of the spots that at 10 I think I'm willing to take it, but King-9 is probably a little bit too bad. Just gonna fold. post it again and delete the other post. So we're definitely betting here and deleting this one. Everybody folds. So if we make it to 50 bucks at both tables, we'll move up to 25 and L. That's going to be the plan. I'm going to do double or nothing on Zoom Poker. So 25, uh, 50 bucks in total, we now got 39, is that close to 40? No, that's close to 30. That's close to 30 bucks. So another 20 we need to make. So recreational players, gonna recreational player, gonna call twice. And now the question is, do I need to turn my 10 into a bluff? I think he's not going to fold Queen Jack or King Jack, 
so we're just going to check. And sometimes we take it down against king high. So that's Todd, yeah. For everybody who doesn't know Todd, this is Todd. Say hello to Todd. This is the grinding it up mascot. <laughs> what do you mean will they pay you for that stick? What stick? This one? <laughs> right. Check pocket threes. We need a double up. We need a double up. So he checks. Then we're going to just take it down here. And now we're just going to check it down. He might have a pair of fives. A pair of sevens, yeah. So actually we could just do a grinding it up episode live. This is pretty much grinding it up number 73 that is. Is that 73? Uh, so this is pretty close. This is pretty close. Uh, I'm gonna flat but I'm not thrilled about it. <laughs> yeah, that's... I mean, yeah, I can't really call that. But it's also something that I don't do at higher stakes. It's just something that I do at 10 and L because people don't really take advantage of it. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course, of course. That's part of my contract. So here with 8-9, I think it's a little bit too bad to call. So we're gonna fold this. So we flop two overs. And we're gonna bet two overs. <coughs> I'm using the uh, Open Broadcaster software. It's pretty much free and I'm super happy with it. Everything goes pretty smoothly, right? Yeah, it's Open Broadcaster and it's, it's freeware, which is pretty sweet. Yep, hello. There's another streamer, One Time Poker. Check out his stream if you haven't already. Just click his his screen name and you'll be taken to his stream. I think he streams some micro stakes as well. So that's nice. Just doing it for the community. I love that kind of attitude. That's the kind of attitude that we're looking for here. Just looking at making this a community project. So everything works. I could even put another picture down there, which would be nice. So 21 people. How about we hit 50 in this stream? I definitely want to hit 50. That would be cool, just for my first stream. Yeah, again, one of these spots where I don't like flatting too much, but a 10 l is just one of the better options that you have here. And it's probably a decent board to just lead out on and take it down right there. So I got to do something. Whoops. So sad. 
inside. It's not that bad actually. 6 that um, so I was already down to 2800 I dropped below the um, $3,000 mark which was pretty frustrating but then I just fought back I won it all back and now here I am at 3400 again so pretty close again to the $4,000 bankroll Mark, once we hit that, we can take shots at 200 and L, which should be fun. So, 23 viewers. We need to get to 50. So, who's going to who's going to take up the job to go post in some forums? 2 plus 2, go post in my thread. Who can do that? I can't do it right now. Well, I can try, but I posted on social media. I'm gonna post uh, gonna post that in telepoker. So getting led into I don't know what that means, probably a draw. It's a little bit we're gonna charge him. He's got to pay. He's got to pay. And we're going to bet pretty big on this turn. It's one of these turn cards where, I mean, it's a it's a great turn card for our hand. He's going to call a ton with like queen jack and flush draws, I think. So that's a, that's a nasty river. I think He's going to go ahead and bet this river a ton, especially if he takes some time. Yeah, that looks like it. So I think I should be folding this. Don't don't like it too much. I'm blocking queen jack, so it's a pretty obvious, obvious river card. Pretty bad river card, so I'm going to end up just folding this. Well, at least we charged him all the way. I flatted the queen jack off in the small blind. So, can anybody Oh yeah, thanks thanks Roland for retweeting. That's great. Any more retweeters? Posters on Facebook who can share my streaming post or Go to 2 plus 2, go to Poker Strategy, post in my thread. I'm just going to try and do it myself. I uh, got some decent flops here. Betting a little bigger here. Probably a recreational player. Pretty decent turn. Just gonna go ahead with bet half pot all the way. I think he's gonna never fold a pair there. So just bet, bet, bet. Make him call down with whatever pair he might have. 
and just go with half pot again. So just half pot, half pot, half pot. I think he's going to look us up with like pocket fives here as well. So we can just bet three streets, get some nice value out of six, four off. Six, four off. So this is, let me check, what episode of Grinding It Up would this be? This would be Grinding It Up number 82. So that's Grinding It Up number 82. This is 82 and you're live. We're live in this together. So you're part of this. Every question that I answer is going to be on grinding it up. 5-6, good enough to defend for me. 82. Uh, the 2 plus 2 thread, it, is, it actually says team on, team, Pokestars Team Online members grinding it up challenge somewhere. I think it's on page 2 maybe. Put a put a happy Easter pick in there. Um, that's a decent turn. So we're just gonna bet this. And if he calls, yeah, it's eighty-two. It's eighty-two. And um, what was I gonna say? Lost my train of thought there. By the way, today I'm shuffling, if anybody is wondering, I'm shuffling with the wind chips. So much wind. Yeah. You gotta you gotta choose I'm choosing different chips each day, depending on my mood. Sometimes I use these this nice little stack of Bellagio one dollar chips. Then I got these Mandalay Bay ones. These are actually the casinos that I won most money in. That's why I why I chose the chips. I won tons at Mandalay Bay 1-2. I don't know why. It just I don't play 1-2 that often when I'm in Vegas, but when I do, <laughs> so this is kind of this, you know, this picture uh, from this uh, from this beer commercial, the US one, with this guy saying, "I don't always blah blah blah," but when I do, <laughs> it's like I don't always play 1-2 when in Vegas, but when I do, I make sure it's at Mandalay Bay and I make tons of money there. <laughs> yeah, it's like. I don't know why, but just Mandalay Bay has been so good to me, playing 1-2 over there. Um, here I'm just going to go for bet, bet, bet. Turn my hand into a bluff a little bit. I think there's there's going to be a decent amount of Jack X that sometimes I can get to fold. And now I don't think he's going to fold an ace, so I'm just going to check it back. And he's not definitely not folding the nuts. Yeah, <laughs> don't expect him to fold the nuts. Can we do a message like, come see Todd play poker, this guy's a beast? Yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? So what we're trying to do is we're trying to get up to 50 bucks so we can play two tables of 25. And then we'll try and get up to 100 bucks and get up to 50 NL. If we do that, I'm going to be... So it's all kind of... It's all kind of... Um, depending on the run, but... If I do, you guys are going to be able to see stuff without whole cards. All the stuff without whole cards. So yeah, that's nice. Getting three bet. That's what we like to see. We are going to four bet. Um, how did you get Todd? I found him in a supermarket. He was he was part of a Christmas um, Christmas. I don't know. You know Kinder Kinder Sh Chocolate Kinder Chocolate. They do have it around the globe, but you know it's a German product. And he actually, yeah, he's actually from from that company. So without. I could start I could start doing ads here. <laughs> That'd be awesome. So yeah. 
I found him in a supermarket and he was coming along with some sweets and it was for Christmas and he had this Christmas hat on. I cut that Christmas hat off. So now he has a supernova wristband, a UK IPT uh, badge and these two patches. So that's good. Oh, I'm running good. Running good. So. But no action. So get called on this board. Probably shutting down on that queen on the turn. Don't expect anything to fold. Maybe a pocket eights or sevens. But then again, I have a seven in my hand. So, yeah, Kinder is one of the nicest chocolates, I agree. I love it. So, how many people we got in the stream? 29. We want to make it to 50. Yeah. About 50. You want to get it to 50. So, if anyone could post in a forum that they're a member of. Uh, I'm gonna try. It's gonna be an extra long episode. By the way, did anybody notice something when you compare this, what you're seeing right there, to my previous videos, grinding it up episodes. Anybody notice anything? I'm just gonna call twice, see what he does in the river. Now, can we value bet? It should be a value bet against Queen Jack. And I think he's going to bluff catch some over pairs. He might have ace 10. But I think ace jack is a value bet. King jack probably isn't. So king 10. Yeah. Makes sense. Not sure if he. If he calls that. All these min raises. These min raises. I just want to play in there so bad. 32, 32. We need to get to 50. 50 it is. This is with a little bit of a delay. I think it's about like 5 seconds delay or so. Nah, I'm not folding reverse. I hate folding reverse. I hate folding suited suited cards, especially when they're when they're red, but I can't do much. Oh it's twenty seconds? Okay. Okay. I actually thought it would be less than that. Uh <laughs> that you mean that's that's the change. No, there's a different change. I changed my layout. Why didn't anybody notice? So who knows what's the so here's the here's the here's the quiz question for you guys uh when do i change my layouts uh this is just a bad board to see but i can't really get him to fold anything and everything that i could i probably can get him to fold on the turn or the river as well just a really bad board for queen jack Fifteen. So I gotta post that straight flush hand. Um, 
Um, he seems like a loose guy. I will pre bet loose guys. So I think here when he flats it's probably tough to get them off a pair. He probably has a he's a pair heavy range. He's also not gonna fold ace king or ace queen on this flop. So I'm just gonna check this back. I think this is the best action on this kind of board texture. So kings, we're just going to go for three streets. Oh, this is just too good of a price. This is too good of a price. And we're just going to lead out with a jack high flush draw. And I'm just going to go for three streets here. So he calls. That spells disaster. I don't think in a full way pot if he calls the flop, I think he's not gonna fold the turn there. So we're just gonna check fold the jack high flush draw. Sucks, but I think we gotta have to. Just looks like he will have a very decent queen, seven better flush draws <coughs> most of the time. I think I can fold out those. Yep, that's right. After I had a couple of bad sessions, that's right. So I had to switch the layout again. I just, you know, whenever I run bad, <laughs> I just have to switch the layout. So min race, yeah, I can't fold for min race, obviously. And can't fold for 10 cents either. So I'm just going to call, call 10 cents. <laughs> yes, kings. So yeah, we had a decent shot at making two pair. Full way action here. Yep, changing table themes when you're running bad is one of the best things you can do. Just motivates me. So here, just bet pretty big. Gonna bet pretty big. Now, um, I'm going to bet big again. I think I can't fold yet to the check raise. Well, this could get a little bit thin, but I think nobody really folds anything here. So we're just going to bet 250 and just hope to get looked up by like pocket eights or pocket nines. Uh, when he jams... Yeah, it's pretty obvious that he probably has pocket sevens or pocket fives or a four. He snap jams just like that. Country read, well, jamming river is like a boss. <laughs> probably doesn't have pocket eights there. Just going to check this one back. And he spikes a 10 on us. Ah, nasty, nasty. Um... 29 people in the stream. We need more. We need more. 50. Wanted to make it 50. Uh, you can find the uh, chips when you just Google for Bellagio. Bellagio 2008 PNG. That's what you should be looking for. Yeah, yeah. I'm afraid the series will take a break, so uh, I will be on holiday starting May 15th. So in the middle of May, I will be gone for three weeks, going to the US, going for the WSOP, and then I'll be back middle end of June. That's when we will resume the action. So yeah, a little bit of a break there. I'm afraid. <clears throat> oh yeah, Scoop is coming up. Scoop is coming up next. 
I'll be definitely playing some events, uh, mostly the six max ones. Um, pretty excited actually. I didn't do too well last year's scoop, so I really want to start um, getting better at MTTs. And I'll definitely play some scoop events, just some selected ones, not too many, maybe like um, around a thousand dollar schedule, something like that, I guess. Um, and I also have to be thinking about what kind of WSOP events I'm going to play. Uh, I'm only going to be there for... I'm only going to be in Vegas for like, I think, four to five days or so. So the max I'm going to be able to play is probably just one event. Um, but if I'm playing an event, I'm going to play a six max event. So, oh yeah, jamming. That's That's no good. Yeah, Scoop is going to be awesome. Scoop is perfect. I mean, I'm playing all the low events for sure. So every low event I can get my hands on, I'm going to register. And I'm going to play the bigger 6 max ones, which I'm interested in. It's going to be like a, yeah, as I said, like a $1,000 schedule. And I'm also going to be playing like a $1,500 WSOP 6 max event probably. So that's my plans for the summer. So it looks like we we need to, to make another 20 bucks to move up to 25. So let's do a little bit of vote. Um, one table of 25. We'll just do one table of 25, I think. We got to get going here. So maybe, maybe this guy is doubling us up. Come on, double us up, please. Hello, sir. Do you want to double us up? Oh, yeah, you want to double us up. So we have position. I'm just going to flat. I don't think getting it in is the best idea. But I'm pretty happy to have him bet at this. And I think I'm just going to stick it in right there. It's a pretty small bet, to be honest. But yeah, got to go with it. Got a little bit of protection here. Oh, <laughs> that's nasty. That's nasty. <laughs> that's nasty. So four bets, ten nine suited, flops a boat. Must be nice. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, can you allow links in the chat, please? Uh, yeah, I could see what I could do. Yeah, I might do a video or two when I'm over in the US and for some WSOP Vegas action, as always. Yeah, I'm always going to do some, yeah, always doing some video blocks, for sure. I'm just going to bet half pot here. So, allowing links in the chat. Gotta see how that works. Hmm. Time zone. Germany. I need Central European time. Yeah, that's the one. Save changes. Bad turn. Bad turn, bad turn. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? So, this is a spot I would try to bluff at, but I don't think everybody, anybody will just fold something here at 10 and L. Um, and he's definitely not gonna fold a straight there, so not bothering. So let me see if I can... So maybe we double up on this one now. Finally. Come on, let's double up on this one. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so... We 
We need to double up. So, yeah, now I'm just going to go for three streets from Ace Queen. Probably going to make it 90 cents. Three streets from Ace Queen. Ace Queen! Do you have a screen, sir? So he tanks a long time. I think he would have called faster with a screen. Thirty-seven people. Thirty-seven people. We need thirteen more. Thirteen more for this stream. And I'm also gonna So if we make it to fifty people, I'm gonna move up to twenty five and L. How's that? And I'm gonna do no whole card cover. And if we make it to a hundred, I'm gonna go to um I'm going to go to straight to 50 NL and do no hole cards. So let's get this going. Table 2. OK, table 1. Fold. That works. Okay. Hmm. Nope. Hmm. Oh, I know why. I know why. Whoops. That better? Still the same two tables. Strange. Oh, that's better. Well, that's pretty big. <laughs> I'm just going to say this is like soft kitty, warm kitty. Going to lead out here. Oh, I got to fold to this super big three bet. Yeah, if people keep flopping boats, I have to change my layout. So this guy calls. I think I'm done with the two over cards and a gut shot. And he bets. I'm just going to check fold. So I think I allowed links again. So try again. If you want to link to your channel, one time poker, feel free to do so. Ah, decent flop. Going to flat the fours, flop a set, flop a set, flop a set. Nah, next time, next time. <clears throat> oh, I'm still going to check it back. Now, here, I think we just have to check it back, sort of. I mean, you can have some flush draws or jack 10. Um, my bet's really small. 
actually thinking about making a ridiculous call with King High. Probably still has like pocket eights and I don't know some random stuff in his range that I can't beat. So. Oh yeah, I was gonna post the uh, the, the flopped straight flush hand. Pretty big three bet I raised under the gun. So thirty four people, thirty four people. We need a uh, forty, forty, forty. We need another ten. Ten people. I'm gonna move up to twenty five and L. Yeah, everybody who tuned in late, you missed a straight flush that I flopped. That is pretty neat. I'm gonna post it on Facebook right now. to raise a suited ace. Never forget to raise a suited ace. Get raised on a dry board texture. Tight guy, I don't know. Looks bluffy, but can't do much. <laughs> yeah, the other hand was also cool. I wanted to have the guy bluff at me, but not flop a boat, yeah, for sure. Well, I can see the link. That's a pretty small 3-bet. So I'm going to flat this. Um... One over, backdoor flush draw, half pot. Oh, this is a good turn. Um, I think this is a fold. Now, I think we're just going to go bet, bet, bet. And hope to make the most of an ace. Forty-one, forty-one. Let's see if we can make it to fifty so I can play some twenty-five and L. But I'm not going to be here for long, guys. Probably another 10 to 15 minutes, so we gotta make sure that we reach 50 people and get to 25 as soon as possible. I've been streaming for about an hour now, maybe a li little bit more, maybe even. Then we just hit a little bit of a downswing now. Yeah. So, drop from today's winnings of 200 down to. 181. So for everybody who's tuned in late, I'm going to be streaming from now on a couple of sessions and I'm either going to be streaming my regular stakes without, uh, without whole cards and with sound obviously. So we're deep here now. This is this is interesting. Uh, this is also interesting. I don't think he's going to call a value bet on the reverse, so we're just going to check and hope that he checks back any worse hand. So here we're deeper with these guys. I wouldn't make this call, but given that we have a suited ace and it's multi-way and we're pretty deep, we can win a lot of money if we make a flush. Now we get a fold. Forty-one, forty-one. Let's see if we can beat fifty. Let's say fifteen minutes to go. You guys can help me out by posting, retweeting, whatever you want to do to get people into the stream so we can play some twenty-five. 
And I promise, if we're going to make it to 100, if we make it to 100, I'm going to be streaming some 50 NL. Ah, oh, so yeah, we're deep, so we're pretty much bound to flat call now. And take the sand pulse flop, because we don't want to get more money in pre. And this is a very interesting flop. It's not a bad flop for us. That's great, inviting people. So he bets. He bets pretty small. I think he is going to be fairly weak. I mean, he can have aces, but he can also have queens. That's going to be interesting if he bets this river. Still think I can't fold this river. I mean, I'm going to be beat a fair bit, but if I don't call kings here after calling preflop, that just suck. And he has queens, so yeah. That's nice. It's a nice result. <laughs> uh huh. So it looks like we get to that double up finally. I mean, if he check raises here, I don't think I don't think he's gonna fold. And if he has a draw, he'll probably just gonna call off the rest anyway. So we can just get it in here. Oh, maybe I was wrong. Drop to 36. Oh, he folds. How can he fold? We're not going to admit this guy to camp. He's not going to be in camp I hate folding. For sure. I'm so loose. I'm so loose. But this is just 10 and L. This is just me playing 10 and L. Whoops. <laughs> he might be folding, he might be succumbing to the power of the red spade. Yes. So he tank calls. What does that mean when he tank calls? I don't know. I don't know what it means when he tank calls, so. I'm just gonna check this one back. Uh huh. So <laughs> he snap calls. Uh, well, obviously, we can't fold now. But we're gonna proceed with caution. I'm gonna call twelve cents. <laughs> twelve cents is fine, but both are gonna be recreational players. Um, gotta call thirty as well, and maybe even call sixty here. But I guess it's just gonna be a fold. Well, yeah. So he's Jackson, going nowhere with that hand. Forty-three, forty-three. Seven more people, and we're off to twenty-five and L. Ten more minutes. Keep retweeting, keep posting, keep doing stuff that makes people want to come here. So it's a pretty big full bet. Um. Yeah, I think, to be honest, at 10 and L, I don't think people are bluffing in this spot, like, ever. But then again, I can't fold ace-king. That's just not my style. <laughs> it's just, I can't fold ace-king. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, this is 10 and L, and I think people don't bluff much at these stakes, but... Nah, oh, he folds. Okay. Well, power of the red spade. <laughs> what can I say? Uh, this guy calls me twice. He probably has a queen, never folding a queen to a bet on the river, I don't think. And nor is he folding an ace. Thirty-five. Still thirty-five. Jacks against an under the gun open. I think we can do both. Must be nice. Must be nice. Well, obviously, we can't really expect to, him to have a lot. So we're just going to... Oh, uh, wait. What? So he raises this turn. And we're just going to go for 
check race all in on the river. This guy. Hmm. hmm. That makes me want to fold now. I'm definitely going to fold now, I think. But this one, I'm just sticking in. Maybe queen 10 or a backdoor flush draw. Both got there. Yeah, I think I think folding there is correct. Definitely betting the flop here with nut gutter. Nut gutter and a backdoor flush draw and it's hearts. And we get three bet. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. Gutter. Just when we needed it. So this is some good run here. So now we gotta think about a lot of stuff. We gotta think about betting this turn and for betting preflop. And I think I'm gonna bet really small. Oh, we lost them. We lost them. We lost them. I think I'm going to check this turn. So now, yeah, we just hope that he doesn't have kings, but I, I guess he's going to have a fair amount of kings in his range now. <laughs> Have queens and make a hero call. No, he doesn't want to. Forty-two. So can we make it to fifty? But then again, we'll only have five minutes. Well, I'll tell you what. If we make it to fifty. We got a lot of hands now. Can I do a refresh? Yay! We're winning more money now. Forty-two, forty-two, forty-two. We need more people. Missed the run good. But we also need some payoff. We need somebody to pay us off. We're going to bet half pot here. And call. And spike an ace. Like a winner. Um, we're still going to bet turn. Um... We might even want to turn our hand into a bluff on the river. But now that he bets, I think we can't really. So now we're just gonna... We can't really stick it in. But there's also gonna be a lot of river cards that we don't want to see. So I don't think he's gonna call with a worse hand here if I shove. But also he might be bluffing. Oh yeah, we just hope that he buffs. <clears throat> so we're deep. I might just hop in there with 6-4 suited and make some more speculative calls now. Whoops. And we're going to call this pair force. And we're definitely going to bluff this river. I think. 
sounds like a plan. You have to call half pot. I mean, it's half pot. It's half pot. Now, can we raise for value on this river? I'm not sure if we can. I'm not sure if we can. Looks like a pretty strong bet. Anyways, we're going to raise this river. Yeah, we're going to make it. I just hope that he has ace king or, I don't know, puts us on some sort of bluff. Fairly deep. Maybe not a great plan, but then again, his bet sizing, it just suggests he's going to have ace king, king x so often. And now he time banks, which actually is a good sign. Uh, not sure if I raise fold, depending on what he does. <laughs> well, if he snap raises, maybe. If not, maybe not. 41, so it looks like we can't really make it to 50. Now it's 36 again. I'm um, going to wrap this up pretty soon. Just another couple of minutes. And then from tomorrow on, I will be streaming again without whole cards and with sound. So check back tomorrow, guys, for more live streaming action. It's going to be episode 83 then. 83, I think. Toot toot. Value Town Express. Leaving from the big blind. Hmm. Two people call me. Don't like it. Don't like it. Okay, folks. So, this was the exclusive, very first official live stream. Uh, small three bets. You know what the heck? I'm just might, I might I might just get lucky with the six five suited here. I might just gamble it up a bit. Um, yeah. So first official live stream. This is episode number 80, 80, 80, 82. 82. Gonna put this up on YouTube so you guys can watch it later on. Somebody missed them. And apart from that, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time, right after we played this super crazy whatever draw. So many outs, so many outs. This is a good out. I like that out. So we're just going to bet again. And bad. Too fitty. Too fitty it is. Too fitty, too fitty, too fitty. Oh, so sit out next big blind. Right, final result for today. Oh, and kings again. Final result for today, we're up about 200 bucks, which is nice. Putting the bankroll at 3,000, close to 3,500 bucks, so we can play some um, 100NL tomorrow again, which is good. And then hope we move back to 200 in a heartbeat. Um, I don't know, I'm just going to bet 25 again. Just hope that he has some stubborn pair of sevens or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that worked well. He's probably going to have an ace. So, I mean, I, I might have induced it, but then again, it's too small for it to be a bluff. It could be a jack, so we can just fold it. All right, all right, all right. So that was the final result. Uh, we got the bankroll up there. And uh, see you guys next time. Keep grinding it up. 
Thank you for watching.